All right, hey, hey, hey. That's gonna be easy. Today we're gonna to talk about the trauma zones of the neck and their landmarks and what that means for management. So if you have a trauma patient who comes with an injury to their neck, uh, historically uh, and classically, the zones of the neck and where the injury is, penetrating trauma, um, is divided into these three sections. They are one, two, and three. The landmarks to delineate those are from the thoracic inlet, which can be the sternum, we usually say the clavicle, from the superior border of that, to the cricoid cartilage. The cricoid cartilage is a little ring of cartilage below your thyroid cartilage that everyone can feel. This would be your uh, cricothyroid membrane would be right here for your cric procedure, etc. Zone two is gonna be from your cricoid to the angle of your mandible. And then zone three is gonna be everything above the angle of the mandible, getting pretty high into the base of the skull and the neck. Um, there's a lot of important structures, as you can imagine, in each one of these trauma zones that it's too much to just list to you right now. Um, so classically, uh, there's a sheet-like muscle that covers all this area, and that's called your platysma. It's very uh, superficial. And in younger people, it's pretty pronounced, which are usually our trauma patients. The old adage is any uh, penetration or injury through the platysma, especially in zone two, mandates OR expiration. Um, with the advent of really good um, high, uh, high numerical slicing CT machines um, and better imaging of the patient's stable, most of these patients are now going to CT scan, especially for like a CTA, um, and maybe even getting an endoscopy or laryngoscopy before going to the OR. Uh, some people with a penetrating zone two injury now are even going home, escaping the OR altogether. Um, historically, for zone one and three, what do you do there? You usually perform what's called triple endoscopy, and that can be laryngoscopy, esophagoscopy, and bronchoscopy or tracheoscopy. That's your triple, your three. Um, if you do those, you can rule out a lot of different injuries. If you're already doing neck expiration, uh, especially if you're like a zone two penetrating injury in a, an unstable patient, you're gonna classically do that along the medial border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So we make our incision here. And um, there's a lot of different tricks to this um, that I won't get into here. Uh, we'll place an NG tube to identify the esophagus and mobilizing your carotid sheath laterally can really help to get to the uh, where you need to be. Those are the trauma zones of the neck, thanks.